a five-seater Audi. Doesn't do justice as how far you slide around, so you have to be careful. But yes. More and more cars are getting smaller engines. The big V8 is dying, of course. Today we have an example of one of these cars that received a smaller engine. So let's have a look if it's still worth it. Enjoy the video. This is the first generation RS5 that ditched the big 4.2 liter V8 and received a smaller 2.9 liter V6. It also has no more dual clutch but a conventional 8 speed automatic transmission. But don't get fooled by these numbers, as this one got twin turbocharged and has more power, more torque and is faster than the previous generation. So is it still the RS5 we want or not? And I need to get past this. So this is it, the 2018 Audi RS5. Beautiful car, high performance and all four people easily and your groceries in the back and where I'm driving now is probably the well place where this car will be seen the most on the highway in front of the driveway and on the grocery parking yes it's a bit of a waste so is it still so bad that the V8 left this car as it is now twin turbocharged and received a V6 instead of the conventional V8 actually let's jump a little bit later on into those details well let's just first start off with the mod itself the mod is made by Buya Gili my last video if you've seen it if you didn't check it out it's a fantastic car the Mercedes AMG GT Black Series was done by him as well almost too many details it was such a cool car and now we have this the 2018 Audi RS5 beautiful car as I said before it's just a fantastic mod once again by him all the colors the factory colors are done amazing driving the Sonomo green at the moment which is, is if you see it in content manager it doesn't do justice as how gorgeous this color is and I'll try to show it in this video on how good it looks then the other features you get with this car is the Android Auto of course in the center console you will see the Android Auto system with YouTube Spotify and everything you want all the details about the car all lights are working inside for example the traction control the ABS uh, the light indicators etc well, all of the lights are working in the interior all the exterior lights are working correctly as well for example now I have the high beams on when you turn them off the lights actually turn off and that's a small detail that's missing in a lot of mods as always the doors can open the left and the right door the hood and the trunk can open uh, which is always nice as I said in my previous video as well it is a nice detail especially when you're making videos or driving in VR it's very cool because you can step out of the car don't forget that especially when you open the hood the the engine is very detailed as well and with this one it is as exactly like in real life and inside we have of course the beautiful cluster as well the sport cluster as we're driving at the moment with the g-force the the turbo charges how they're doing the boost actually gears well everything you want so as i said this is probably the place where in real life it mostly will stay but let's just see how it performs on the track as it this doesn't do the car justice of course so let's have a look on a different place how it actually performs yeah come on green car green hell north slive kind of need to now that we're actually on the north slive we can actually talk a bit more about the stats and figures of this car as i said in the intro this car did the 4.2 liter v8 for the 2.9 liter twin turbocharged v6 is that a bad thing well weight wise no performance wise actually no it is oh it is more powerful more torque more horsepower than the previous generation rs5 as it has 445 brake horsepower and 600 newton meters of torque i have to say this car drives pretty well actually here as well good thing is that it's a fast car it's 3.5 seconds 0 to 60 miles per hour which is pretty quick top speed of three, over 300 kilometers per hour which is pretty decent as well i have to say for a car like this and i think especially on the autobahn where we were driving before that should be quite fun as well 
the end of course it's not as quick as the black series which we were driving last week so it's hard to go back a notch but i have to say with the four wheel drive it is actually a really nice car to drive around the funny thing is that even though it is four wheel drive it will still slide around so you have to be careful but you can really hammer it down because 250 here there we go almost crashed and quite easy to save so sound wise it sounds pretty decent i have to say you don't hear the turbocharger which is funny well you, you hear it in the background just slightly and the especially from the outside as well the car sounds pretty good the interior sound is really well done as well and overall i think it's just a pretty well, good sounding car i'm gonna be completely honest i think the v8 sounds just slightly better than this v6 in general i have to say that the v8 sounds a bit better than the v6 or a, lo a lot better but then again this sounds pretty good i'm just curious if this car would still have the v8 and the twin turbos if it would be faster or not or due to the weight slower like makes you think so my verdict on this car well if you still want the v8 you can of course go for the 2018 mercedes c63 which is slightly cheaper and for example the e63 s amg for, from the same year which still has the v8 and is way more powerful and way faster than this car it is 30,000 euros more expensive than this car the e63 s as it is slightly over $100,000 and this one is slightly over $70,000 base price but you know if you just get a few additional things in the car for example you go for the $1,150 dynamic steering or you go for a, just a small upgrade in the stereo you get the 950 dollar bang and all of the sound system or if you want some more leather in the interior you can of course go for the leather package which is an additional 1500 dollars do you want 20 inch rims 2500 dollars oh yeah and let's not forget just a small addition to this car if you want the because of course you kind of need to go with some options and especially with this one as it is a high performance car you of course need the dynamic pack which is just a small six thousand dollars so you can easily get into the ninety thousand dollars with this car and i mentioned before that the base price is seventy three thousand so yeah it is still a hefty price tag so would you go for the e60 free s instead or a cheaper c63 even an s you can get probably i don't know i don't know i think this car looks good it drives really well if you really want to drive quick of course rear wheel drive is more fun sometimes and the v8 of course it sounds better it definitely sounds better but it is a really nice car this one it drives amazing i'm all for all-wheel drive as it is just well a lot more fun throwing it around the corner drifting going sideways this car i don't know it's good i like it yes it drives really well it makes you drive faster in a five-seater out as always, I will put all the links down in the description. Thank you for watching. Thank you Buya Gilly for this mod. It is a fantastic mod. All the people that were watching this video, definitely check it out. See you on the next one. Bye.